Hi, today I'm going to be talking about my five simple steps in diorama building. One, draw inspiration from around you. Dioramas can be products of your imagination, from movies, history books, magazines, model shows, stories, even online pictures. Draw inspiration from popular great masters like uh, the late Chef Payne, Roger Horkman, or Hiroshi Takashima. Check out their work, they are excellent in all aspects. So again, look around you. In exhibits, read books and magazines, watch, listen to stories, draw inspiration around you and in your imagination. Two, sketch the visualized layout and perspective. By sketching a concept and have them lay out on a paper enables you to see the idea take shape. One can sketch several plans of the scenery or the visual presentation of the desired layout. The sketch should help you visualize how and where the structure, groundworks, background figures and kit come to play. Another importance of this is the informal sketches serve to communicate your concept and idea to someone else. Step 3. Look for the right materials in production design. When building structures and groundwork, one must be creative and resourceful enough to discover and use the right materials for the diorama. There are numerous alternative art supplies to it yourself and aftermarket products and some things nature has to offer like rocks, mud, dried leaves. For those with budget and with greater accuracy in mind, then an excellent aftermarket product is great. But if you're financially challenged, then go with the available and reasonably priced materials. Four, pre-production and testing of your materials. When you have sorted out the final materials, it is now time to slowly put them together and check whether the appearance represents the best visual of your diorama. The visual, of course, should fit your definition of accuracy, closer to your reality and your overall story. Mind you, there will be frustration at this stage especially when your material does not come out as you expect it to be. I suggest you always test two materials by using small portions first and compare them before jumping into the larger scale of the diorama. Step 5. Build, assembly, construction, painting and weathering. Once you've carefully selected your final material, the figures, and have decided on the layout, the most exciting and fun part is the assembly, build and painting activity. For the most part, I guess, with some of the master modelers who agree, diorama enthusiasts should possess at least the basic and necessary skills in model building. With these in place, I'm sure your diorama is going to be your signature masterpiece and a memento of your great imagination. So there, on to the next project.